going on guys? Episode 2 of the Quarantine Reviews. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying everything being back to semi-normal in terms of the channel. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, like and subscribe. And with that in mind, we're going to take a look at The Clay of the Undead by Ziggy Supply in collaboration with the Heavy Metal Pomp. Let's jump right into this. First off, beautiful front or top logo. Really like this stuff in terms of what they did on the labeling. I like the almost, um, looks like an old zombie horror film in terms of the, the labeling and the color supply that they chose. The actual jar itself, not my favorite, but um, it's not too bad, especially for uh, international shipping and stuff like that. You don't have to worry about a glass jar breaking. We have information just on the side here. Tells you everything about it. It's a heavy hold clay, gives you a high hold with a natural matte finish. And some ingredients on the side, nothing too exciting there. Opening the jar up, we're met with a very citrusy cologne type scent that is reminiscent of some more familiar light summery spring style colognes. It's citrusy up front with cologne falling behind. My only downfall for this is that it kind of smells a little cheap in that it smells like a deodorant or something along those lines. It kind of reminds me of the old deodorant that I used to use. But um, other than that, it's, it's an above average scent that the more cheapness of it goes away as it once it's in your hair and then it starts to smell more like an actual cologne. Moving on to the actual product itself, we're met with this very interesting looking product. Familiar in terms of how it looks as a heavy hold clay, but besides that, the color being a slightly gray tinge is a little different than some products and just overall looks different. When you reach into the jar and scoop it out, it has a almost gum-like texture to it. It's sticky and it's but it's still smooth at the same time breaking it down the stickiness emphasizes itself and you get a nice clean clear residue which is always a great sign applying into the hair right now we're growing my hair out until we basically get back to work i don't see a reason for me to uh, have to be cutting my hair risking uh, going out in public during this lovely coronavirus stuff. First scoop, sticky a little bit, starting to get some texture, some control, and we'll go in some, with some more. Now being that this is a stickier product, I highly recommend that you go in with uh, smaller scoops and emphasize going into the back into the fr and moving towards the front as you apply it. Products like these can be a little bit um, overwhelming in terms of having to spread it and distribute it. There aren't too many issues with clumping or anything like that. Nothing of a cheap or under-focused product. This product knows what it's doing and the Ziggy Supply stuff works very well. My hair being longer, I'm gonna go in with another scoop just to really emphasize the hold that we're supposed to get and to hopefully tame my sides as well. We might need another one. Overall though, we're starting to get excellent texture. The hair is starting to sit in place and the hold is starting to fully come through. Everything is starting to become more grippy and stuck together like we look for in a product like this. And overall, Worked pretty damn good. Control, excellent. And we're just about done. I'm gonna get some more for the sides just to clean things up a little bit. And then we'll go on with the actual performance. So far, scent, not too bad. Presentation, a little underwhelming in terms of the jar. Scooping, pretty easy. Application, very good for something of this uh, um, determined hold level and then from there we get to performance 
Now it is becoming quite difficult for me to both maintain a decent style in terms of how lengthy and poofy my hair is getting, but this product does manage things very well. And I think now that we've got everything styled up, we can take a look, and it did pretty good. Now the actual performance, I would say the hold on this kind of teeters between a strong hold and a heavy hold in that it's not super light, so I wouldn't call it a strong, but it's not overly heavy or present, so I wouldn't call it a heavy. It sits in that weird category that doesn't exist, and that's the joy of trying to label things. Uh, going from there, hold is good. Texture, exactly what we expect out of a heavy holding clay. Uh, I don't think you could get a more emphasized texture, although uh, there are some other things that you could do if you did need more texture from a product like this, but um, I divulge on that. Might be something to cater towards a future video, something that emphasizes more on how to get texture. I have the lucky hair type that has no issues presenting texture. Moving on, control, excellent. I'd say the control on this, because of how sticky it is, it's very responsive, reactive, and dry enough that it's able to hold its place and not just be an absolute mess. Uh, moving from there, the shine, definitely a natural matte. That I, I like the wording on that, in that it's not bone dry and it's not shiny. Excellent labeling in terms of the, the shine. I would say the, the endurance of it, being that this is made in, um, I believe it's made somewhere in, uh, I think Singapore or something along those lines, and it's designed for hotter heat. This is perfect as we move into the summer here in the Northern Hemisphere, and it's worked great for me so far, going out on walks, doing things during this lovely shutdown, home workouts, that type of thing. Works very well, and overall, yeah, endurance is great, hold is, is exactly what they say, maybe a bit stronger than I would have assumed based on um, the Zerds product. This is a stronger version of that, I would say. And uh, yeah, overall a great product. The washout on this is not the greatest. It's not easy, it's not difficult, but it does come out with shampoo, no problems asked. So if you're one of those people who rinses, this probably won't do it for you, but a little shampoo doesn't hurt anybody. Overall, very excited to have this through the summer. I had it before, it didn't work that great in short hair, but as my hair starts to get longer, the little bit of weight added into it, it really works well in terms of taming this lovely mop I have on my head. I think the next video I'm gonna take a look at, we're gonna go over kind of styling this grown out phase that I've gone through. Maybe give some more tips on how to blow dry properly and how to emphasize uh, what you have on your head. Uh, as well, got plans for a lot of videos moving ahead. I've downloaded or I've purchased some stuff from Morris Motley, looking to get some stuff from Sheer Revival and a whole other host of brands just to really get back moving into 2020. That's quite the mouthful. And moving forward, so I'm really back into enjoying this and providing you guys content. Uh, if As well, if you liked the video and everything like that. Uh, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.